Something so real, something so real. I want you to see that this is a love that we both feel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing something super fun. I decided, when I was sitting there, I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite makeup tricks that is by Kim Kardashian, but then I was sitting there and I was like, well I have three favorite Kardashian beauty tips that I absolutely love and I wanted to share with you guys because I think they make doing your makeup so much easier and I'm always down for a faster, easier makeup application because let's be real here, we don't all have all the time in the world to you know do our makeup. So I figured I would share with you guys my top three favorite Kardashian beauty tips that I have you know learned over the years and they're actually by three different sisters so that'll be super fun to show you guys as well because they all have like their different looks and I think it's really interesting to take their different beauty tips and kind of throw them all together. If you guys like my channel, please subscribe to it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you'd like it and share this with any of your friends that are Kardashian obsessed or beauty obsessed or any of those things. And as always, follow me on Instagram at xomelablog underscore and I'm just like admiring my hair. I, I like used to wear extensions all of the time and now I don't really have to so this is my hair without extensions it's grown so much and it's because like I've let my roots grow out so much but you know a natural ombre is really pretty because this is my natural hair color which looks super dark next to the harsh like really blonde highlights but I swear it's not as dark as it looks and I just, I kind of like the dimension, so let me, you know, know what you guys think about this. I'm trying to decide if I should keep it for my wedding or not, so definitely comment down below what I should do. So number one is one of my favorite beauty things to do ever, which is highlighting. I love to highlight. I actually got this highlighter recently. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlighter, and one of the tips, so this is number one, it's Khloe Kardashian. She said when she goes to work out, all she does is, you know, put a little bit of highlighter on her cheeks as far as her face. Um, so I figured we could just highlight. I tried this just without any foundation, without anything. I always think it's interesting to try things on your face without foundation and see how they look and I think it's very, very pretty and very subtle. So as always, before I highlight, I'm going to set my face with Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I'm going to take my fan brush, set that as well. Nothing super crazy because you don't want anything super harsh on you know dry or you know dry skin if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to highlight where I would normally highlight. So if you guys can see like how that looks on fresh, you know, just like non-foundation skin. And I don't know if you guys ever do this, just put highlighter on and nothing else. So she just puts it on her cheeks. So she goes to work out. She's got a bare face, but she's got a popping highlight. I just got it, so I definitely like the way that it looks. I think it looks super pretty. I think you look like glistening. Even like add it to your nose a little bit. It kind of just makes it look like you're sweating, but hey, whatever. Okay, so another tip, this one's from Kim Kardashian West herself. She, when she debuted her KKW cream contour sticks, she showed us that if she only has a couple minutes to get out of the house, all she does to her face is put on the contour stick, which was one side was concealer and the other side was contour. So I don't have the KKW contour sticks, but I tried this a couple days ago, just bare face. I didn't even have any highlight on, but I'm going to keep this. Um, and I thought this was a very interesting trick to, you know, highlight with the concealer and contour your face with any foundation because usually are so used to seeing that base so I wanted to show you guys on camera what that looks like for me so uh, when I was picking my contour stick and my concealer I really wanted to make sure that I picked products that were lighter because I know her contour stick is creamy and light and things like that so I decided to use the Maybelline instant age rewind to highlight and conceal underneath my eyes and other areas because I think it's really important to use something a little bit lighter with Tarte Shape Tape. It's too thick, it's gonna look like a foundation and I really just wanted something that would be covering. So just like with anything else, I'm going to just highlight underneath my eyes and I just like the way the Instant Age Rewind is just like a creamier, lighter consistency. I feel like I don't have to worry about it the way that, you know, I do with Tarte Shape Tape, you don't have to be as careful because it is, you know, lighter. 
I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender underneath my eyes to so just lighten up my eyes. So it definitely lightens up the areas. Does it cover well? Not necessarily because there isn't that foundation base, but it definitely lightens up, I feel like, those areas and makes them covered and pretty. So that is the highlight kind of. I know when a lot of girls highlight and contour, they leave everything on your face on their face like they do it all and then they blend it. I do it in steps because I feel like the makeup will set into your pores and not blend as well. So next I'm going to go in with my contour stick. This is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. I just go into the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead. So around my forehead, just light and down my nose. Just a little bit. And this is definitely a warmer tone so don't I look beautiful guys blending like I did with the other one it just creates like a shadow when you don't have foundation on it and it's like interesting to see the way these products work on bare skin like do these products need that foundation base to hold can they hold on their own it's really interesting to see the way that these products work without that kind of base see like I think that looks really pretty but it's definitely a little bit more dramatic on its own, I feel like. Go around my nose. I feel like the best way to blend your nose is to just pat it in because if you pull and rub, it's not going to take the product the way that it should. Like, honestly, I think the only thing it really does is make me look a little bit tanner. Which I'm down for. <laughs> And my number three tip from the Kardashians, this one is from Kylie, of course, and this is definitely a lipstick tip. It would be to overline your lips. Believe it or not, I am not going to be using a Kylie Jenner lip kit. I have about 18 of them, but none of them look good with out. I feel like crazy makeup. I have Posy K, Candy K. They're all super dark shades where if I'm not wearing makeup, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to wear a little bit more of a neutral tone. So being honest, if I were to be running out of the house, I wouldn't be throwing on like a Posy K lip just because it's Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm just going to go in with an Urban Decay lip liner and just line around. And just like it's a lip liner, so you're just lining the areas that you're going to be putting lipstick on and then I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Melted Matte these are some of my favorite lipsticks and this is Cool Girl these are my favorite 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 lipsticks because that's one swipe and I feel like my lips look awesome like I just love it so that is what all three of the Kardashian Jenners love to do with their makeup when they're kind of in time constraint. And this is what it looks like all put together. All right, so that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my top three Kardashian Jenner makeup tips. I think that they are really pretty because I think as much as they love to really like do their makeup they also love to enhance natural beauty and I feel like that's what this does I'm not wearing any foundation and I'm kind of just playing up features that I already have by highlighting contouring and overlining my lips so I'm not really adding anything that's not there I'm just enhancing what I have and sometimes those are the best looks to rock so I definitely love to do those types of looks and show you guys and I feel really bad that I didn't use any of their products today but that's just because none of them are things I would grab for immediately. I do want to try the KKW contour sticks um, but I just never did so that's definitely something that's on my radar that I want to try and order but I like I'm not like a big fan of things that come together I like to put different moving parts together so like an age rewind a hula quickie contour stick two different kinds of brands you know lip liner and lipstick that's just kind of how I do things I'm like very mixed matched and I'm not very like super put together so I like to just kind of like do everything kind of crazy you know mixing both high-end and drugstore in this little tutorial that I have going on for you guys right now I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave any questions, comments, anything down below for me. And I will see you guys again in my next video.